So here are a few features that will be live in Tapivo 3.0. So first, the possibility to uh, record a sound for pairs of pictures. For instance, if I take this dog and put it on the horse, like that, I get this screen, I can record a sound. Horses love dogs. n'importe quoi. Okay, so we save, and in play mode, if I click on the dog, I hear a sound. If I take the dog and put it on the horse, or vice versa, horses love dogs. then we hear uh, the uh, matching sound. Um, so this is the first feature. Second feature, uh, if I shake the device, which I do like that, I will hear a random sound from the grid. So for instance, here uh, we heard the sound of the dog. If I click on the correct picture, then I will get a, a sound reward. Okay, and uh, if I do it again, but I mess up. So it's the monkey, but if I click on the part, then I get another sound. So, so another feature, in edit mode, it is now possible to uh, move the pictures uh, uh, as you want. So for instance, if I want to put this dog uh, just before the um, parrot, up, then I can insert it. Same, if I take the parrot and put it here, very easy to move. Okay, second feature. Another new feature is the possibility to add text like that. So if you select one uh, picture, in edit mode, then you select add text, of course the icon will be changed, and then you put your text, my dog is beautiful, you can change uh, the position, of course, you can change uh, direction, size, okay, you select whatever you want, let's put it this way, up, uh, then you select the color, and then you get the picture like that. And it's recorded, so the color is not good, but anyway. And um, resolution uh, seems to be quite okay. Okay, um, another feature uh, which will be very useful for AAC is the possibility to jump uh, from, from one grid to the other. So you do that very simply uh, in edit mode. So for instance, let's select this cell, which uh, it doesn't have any sound. You go on the bottom of this screen uh, and you see that there is a picture and written jump to another grid, so you edit. In edit, you just select one grid that you want to jump to, for instance, everyday sounds, done. And then you will see on the play screen this icon, which means that if you click on it, then you will get uh, to the next uh, grid that you selected. Let's make, let's make a try. Okay, I jumped to the grid, and if I want to come back to the previous one, here we go. So one of the next big improvements that I will be working on within the next days will be to change totally this screen to make it more uh, kid-friendly or user-friendly in general.